going to take a look at the new timeline feature. To access that, you want to go to Timeline and then View Editor. I'm going to record five blank cues to playback nine, three, four, five. Double tap the S button to the cue list and let's change this to cue timing. Then we'll go to the Halt field, select all of the Halt fields, hold Shift and hit Enter to turn those to time code. If we then go to the cue list settings and we'll add an audio file, you can import audio files as WAV or MP3 files into the audio folder. And now we've got the audio waveform against our five cues, and we can move our five cues around, and that will edit and change the time code. We can now visually line up where we want the cues with the audio. The audio timeline has two views, a peak RMS view, or we can look at the uh, audio bands. Left we play back the cues. Right channel. The Both cues are channels. now playing left channel at the audio locations. We stop the time code playing, we can restart the time code, and then we can channel. perform a Both scrub. Channel. If we Both want to channels. listen to the audio in sections and to relocate some of the cues. And you can see that the time code is changing as we move the cues around. We can also add time code tracks. If we go to view TC, start a time code track recording, and we're recording our fader moves and our go button presses and any other action we take. If we stop recording and we come back to the timeline, we're going to restart the time and you can see these other timecode tracks in the timeline window. We can move those around, we can change their fade time and duration, and we can locate them with respect to the audio. We click on a cue, we can change its fade in time. If we click on a timecode track fade, we can lengthen or shorten that fade time. 